morning. Hi guys. Look at these two. You can't get much more adorable than that. Say good morning. Say good morning. You did say morning. Hello, and our surprise guest is Fanny. Fanny, currently eating things. Say good morning. Oh, hey, you did a good job. Of good morning. We have Fanny for today, and our girls love her visiting. And I'm pretty sure she loves being here too. <laughs> right, I am in a bit of taking my meds. So we'll see you later. Hi guys. So today we are going to do a review of the innocent unsweetened hazelnut just four ingredients, roasted hazelnuts, rice, spring water and a pinch of sea salt. That's what we bought yesterday when we went food shopping. Yep. Oh it's got what you can use it for on the back. I'll read that out in a second. I read it. So you can make a rich and nutty hot chocolate. Oh yeah. Bake into tasty muffins. Fill up a paddling pour and splash around like a baby hippo. I want to do that. I think that would probably cost quite a bit though. <coughs> but, but yeah, baby hippo. Pour it over cereal or simply sip it on its own. Which is what we're going to do. We're going to give it that option. Yeah. So, as you can see, the bottom's considerably darker. It's because it like separates. Hey, like it just sounds gross, doesn't it? Mm. But I've got to shake it. Which makes it really, really bubbly. It's bubbling up like fizzy. Can you see it? Can't open it now. Boom. It's not even at all, is it? Uh, no. Yeah. Stop. Cool. Cool. We'll go for that for now. Awesome. It's got quite a strong smell to it. Yeah. It's good though. It literally just smells like blended hazelnuts. Ooh. Tastes like blended hazelnuts. It's really good. And although it's unsweetened, I don't think it doesn't need, it doesn't sweetener. need sweetener. I know that some nut milks, when you drink them, you're just like, whoa, that's And not some good. of them are. When it hits your palate, it's very dry. Yeah, this isn't. This is like, it tastes really creamy. Mm. This could be quite bad. But really good. Um, just in case anybody's interested, nutritional info, 100 mils is 72 calories, and this is a 750 ml bottle. Um, I'm not quite sure why it doesn't say. Usually they say um, per portion, but I don't know. And it's got quite a good um, open date. It says use within five days. Normally things like this are three. So that's pretty good. I'd buy it. Definitely. And obviously completely dairy free. So... I like it. Yep, you can't have dairy. Get you some of this. I like it. 
she liked it. I like it too, but I've been talking, so yeah. I've been tasting. Yeah, you have. You, you've been tasting some good tasting there, babe. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, out of ten? I would say nine, because there's always room for improvement. What do you think they could improve on? I don't know. No, no. <laughs> That's always good when. But nobody's you ever that yeah. perfect. But true. It's always. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> it's always good um, when you don't actually know what they can improve on. But I agree. I'd say nine and a half. I really want to try it in. A paddling pool? <laughs> I don't know, just the mix. Maybe if we, if you were to put it in, like... <laughs> for some reason, my, my phone's in the kitchen, and for some reason, it just tried to, tried to turn on Bixby. I'm not sure why. Um, a dairy milk hot chocolate, but use this as the milk. That would be like Nutella. It probably would. It really it probably would. It would be like a Nutella hot chocolate. We're probably, we've actually got, we've actually got dairy milk hot chocolate powder. We'll save some of that and tonight we'll have that with our hot chocolate and we'll do a review of the two mixed together. Yep. And chuck it in here. Mm. Just for added extras. Whoop whoop. Awesome. So I'm going to go finish my milk. Anything else? Almost. See you in a bit. Indeed. Sometimes you just need a little elbow bob to snuggle in and keep you company. I've just woke up again. I'm feeling really exhausted today. I think it's all kind of catching up with me and yeah. She's so cute. She's holding on to me. Um I think Sophie's upstairs doing something. Probably something to do with her makeup. I've just got my pen pal stuff out to put stamps on them, ready to send them. But this day's like the day that having a chronic illness sucks because all I've done is wake up, have some dinner, go back to sleep. And I just feel absolutely whacked. I think it's all because we went shopping yesterday for a couple of hours. It just took it out of me. I love you, Alba. Oh, yawn. Is that a good yawn? She's holding on to me. Having pets is the best. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You saying hello to the people? Saying hi, people. I'm keeping my mummy company. I am. I'm making sure she feels safe. But, so yeah. Not much of a crazy day today. Fernie's now gone home. The girls loved her being here. Yawn. Um, they always play lovely together. So it's always nice for the girls to see a new doggy face. 
We've been looking after her for quite a while now and she's so beautiful. She's such a pleasure to have. We've got her coming again at the weekend, which will be lovely. We'll take the girls out together, go for a run. I'll love that. So for now, I'm going to stick some stamps in an envelope. We'll see you later. I can't wait for the world to invent a smell -a vision because this smells amazing. Are you jealous? I'm not too jealous on this one though. But Soph seems to like the smell of it. Yeah, and I think it looks pretty good too. Yeah. Yeah. Yummy. Happy meal time to you guys. No, I am. I just, just give me that one. Oh, I want this one. This is the one that... Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's one oh. That's one giant ball, man. No. Look. Ready? 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 Huh. Oh, well done, Pickle. I can't see any again because you left the fucking over out. Well, that was stupid. Yeah. What have you got, Alba? It's so nice. It's that nice. Oh, I'm shredding off the fluff, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Mummy, mummy. Yeah, this is super duper nice. Oh. Those ears. <laughs> Is on a roll. I have done another two pen pals whilst Soph is trying to get here. I have got I don't know if you're going to see them. These star earrings all up my ear. And so wanted to put some in as well. But the problem is, you need to prise the metal open. I had to put one in my teeth and one holding it and pull it. And then you've got to try and get it in. And then you've got to try and squeeze the metal. So... See if we can get one to so as you can see there there's the oh there's the join look at my nasty nails <laughs> don't bite your nails people um oh out of focus again so yeah you've got to try and prise that open then you've got to try and put it in your ear to then squeeze it back together so that it doesn't fall it's out. It's hard getting it in your ear because the, the little bits of the star are so short and you've got to try and bend it, like bend the earring within your ear. Yeah. And then obviously it's like you're repiercing a different route to yeah, your ear. It is really difficult. Yeah, it is. So, um, Dixie's. She really wants to play, but she's also really hot, so we're not doing it. So, the first one is, try not to get my address this time, because I failed last time. I've got a little pretties there. And then, I drew that for the back. And then, the second one... Look. 
there's the back that little scripture thing says don't get up give up don't give in which i think is really cool and then i have drawn this little lion for the front i shouldn't have said so you could try and guess what it was but it's a lion i said it and i've just got to put stamps on all four five and i think i've got another four to reply to Sometimes she's just satisfied with a little boop. Um, but it's nine o'clock, so we're going to go to bed soon. So, we shall see you tomorrow. Night. Bye. Just a quick side note, as I just heard the news on Instagram, Claire Wineland, who um, had cystic fibrosis, she got the call on the 26th of August 2018 for a double lung transplant. That in itself went very well, but she suffered a major stroke following it. Spent a week long in intensive care and has sadly passed away. Um, so rest in peace, Claire, and your legacy will live on through your foundation. Bye, hey, and breathe easy.